Hello everyone, I'm Heaven. I'm an internet cyber sapiens and today I'm going to do a little presentation on a password hacking tool called John the Ripper. But before we get into that, we need to know what password hashing is first. Uh, this is the table of contents that we are going to deal with today. And let's get on with password hashing. Password hashes. So what is password hashing? Password hashing is defined as putting a password through a hashing algorithm by crypt SHA etc to turn plain text into unintelligible series of numbers and letters. So what that actually means is a password that we have created is going to go through a hashing algorithm and comes out as a jumbled mess which is not readable. Now let's get, on, let's get to know what a hashing algorithm is. A hashing algorithm is a mathematical function that couples up data and makes it unreadable. Hashing algorithms are one-way programs, so the text can't be unscrambled and decoded by anyone else. So that means a hashing algorithm intakes the data that we present to it and spits out something else entirely. Hashing is different from encrypting a password though, because encrypting is a two-way function. It is reversible. You can decrypt a mangled string to get the original string if you have the key but hashing is irreversible you apply the secure hash algorithm and you cannot get the original string back and yeah this is a small diagram on how hashing algorithm work now on to the next one some popular hashing algorithms md5 sha1 sha256 sha384 whirlpool tripmed crc32 archon2 bycrypt pbkdf2 to learn more about hashing algorithms you can click on this link security level of hashing algorithms in this table we can see the hashing algorithms based upon the amount of security they provide as we can see here, it ranges from weak to ultra, uh, and DES and MD5 are considered as weak hashing algorithms, and AES256 and SHA512 are on the higher end of the spectrum. They are nearly uncrackable, or take a really really long time to crack them. Now that we learned about the password hashes and hashing algorithm, let's go into John the Ripper. So now the question is, why are we learning about hashing algorithms? That's because John the Ripper is a tool that identifies the hashes and the type of hashing algorithm it uses to convert it back into plain text. So what is John the Ripper? John the Ripper is a popular open source password cracking tool that combines several different cracking programs and runs in both brute force and dictionary attack modes. John the Ripper is often used in the enterprise to detect weak passwords that could put network security at risk as well as other administrative purposes. The software can run a wide variety of password cracking techniques against the various user accounts on each operating system and can be scripted to run locally or remotely. One important note to consider here is the password cracking that we do here is a post-exploitation process. That means we already gained access to the victim system and found out where the password and password hashes are stored. Now on to the next one. Types of modes available for John the Ripper There are four modes that are available for John the Ripper Mode list mode, single crack mode, incremental mode and external mode Now let's learn what these individual modes are First one, mode list This is the simplest cracking mode supported by John All you need to do is specify a word list A text file containing one word per line And some password files You can enable word mangling rules which are used to modify or mangle words producing other likely passwords. If enabled, all of the rules will be applied to every line in the word list file producing multiple candidate passwords for each source word. So in short, it is the easiest mode. All it needs is a word list on the mangling rules. So let me explain what word list and mangling rules is. Word list contains all potential words that can be used to cracking a password. There are many word lists that are available on GitHub based on the passwords that got leaked from hacked websites in the past. Or you can create a word list based upon the usernames and other personal info that you found after gaining access to the victim system. Now, what is mangling rules means? Let me provide you an example. 
for example we found some user names of victims and common pins they use for security while we did the post exploitation work john can use various combinations of the user names and pins to generate the likely password if the victim password is weak we can find a match now let's get on with the next mode single crack mode this mode uses the login names geckos or full name fields and user home directory names as candid passwords also with a large set of mangling rules applied since the information is only used against password for the accounts it was taken from and against the password hashes which happen to be assigned to same salt single crack mode is much faster than word list successfully guessed passwords are also tried against all loaded password hashes just in case more users have same password let me explain you what geckos field means geckos field the geckos field or gezos field is a field in each record in the etc password file on unix and similar operating systems on unix it is the fifth of the seven fields in a record it is typically used to record general information about accounts or its users such as real names and phone numbers right then then let's get with the next mode incremental mode this is the most powerful cracking mode it can try all possible character combinations as passwords however it is assumed that cracking with this mode will never terminate because of number of combinations being too large actually it will terminate if you set a low password length limit or make it use a small character set and you will have to interrupt it earlier this mode takes a really long time to crack passwords and having a good hardware like faster gpus or cpus will make it much faster on to the next mode external mode you can define an external cracking mode for using with john this is done with the configuration file sections called list.external mode where mode is any name that you assign to the mode the section should contain program of some functions that john will use to generate the candid password it tries the functions are coded in a subset of c and are compiled by john at startup when you request a particular external mode on john's command line so what does that mean is in order to define an external cracking mode you need to create a configuration file and this section contains functions programmed in a c like language the functions that are currently used by john are the initialize function filter function generate function and restore function these functions or code helps john to generate passwords if you want to know more about the external mode the link is provided in the ppt now on to the next slide these are the list of technology that we can find in JTR. Now, reasons as to why to use John the Ripper. It works with Unix, Windows, and Kerberos. Compatible with LDAP, MySQL, MD4, with additions of extra modules. It is a popular password cracking tool. Preferred by pen testers. Accessible on multiple platforms. Auto detects password hash types. Can crack multiple encrypted formats. Now, let's get on with the installation process installation on Kali Linux John the Ripper is installed by default and as for Ubuntu and other Linux distros the command is sudo apt-get install John and as for Windows visit the official website to download it uh, I provided the link for the official website here as for Mac OS install brew software using the following command in the terminal open the terminal in the mac os and use the following command that i presented here in the ppt once it is done and once you install brew then use the following command to install john brew install john an important note here john the ripper can also be used from cloud using amazon web services for more information visit the following page provided the link here now let's get on with the usage of John the Ripper. Usage. To start John the Ripper, type the following command in the terminal. John. And this is the result you get once you started John the Ripper. And to see all the options that are available in John the Ripper, use the following command. John hyphen H. And as you can see, you can find various modes that are available and all the different commands that you can use to perform password cracking. These are some of the resources that helped me making this presentation. 
and with this we conclude our theory part of the presentation on to the practical side now that i fired up my kali machine let me show you how john the ripper works in a real life scenario for our example here let's try to access a rar file which is password protected let's say this is a scenario where you got hold of the victim system and trying to access the sensitive information which is saved in the raw queue dot rar file here see as you can see this is password protected so first we are going to open the terminal where the file is situated so right click and open terminal here once we have done that step one we have to grab the hash of the rar file the command to grab the hash file is dot to john and the name of the rar file and the name of the rar file here is rock q dot r a r now as you can see here john has grabbed the hash of the rar file now on to the next step step two step two we have to output the hash into the hash file the command for that is raw to john raw q dot r greater than and here we can name the output file that we want to generate and i want to name my file as password dot hash as you can see password dot hash file has been generated here and from there we move on to step three using john to crack the password in order to do that we need to use the following command john and the name of the file that we have generated that is password dot hash and let's just wait for the result as you can see john has cracked the password as one two three four five six seven and if we use this password here one two three four five six seven it worked and we could able to see the contents in the rar file this is how you crack zip or rar files using john the ripper let's see another example of usage of john the ripper in this example we are trying to find out the linux user password which is stored in the shadow folder let's say in this scenario we can access to the victim system and found out that there are other users using this system in order to do that let's first create a user using the following command user add r and here well, let's name user as bob nope not blob bob and the user has been created we can also assign password to the user by using the command pass wd and the name of the user bob now we can assign a password to this i want to keep my password simple so that it could be easily cracked so i'm going to give it one two three four five six and re let's reconfirm the password one two one two three four five six see as you can see password has been updated successfully and now that we have created a an user let's get on with finding the folder where passwords are saved the password hashes of linux users are stored in path slash etc slash shadow and the command to grab these hashes is john space slash etc slash shadow and here we have to specify the format of the hashes so john can crack it in order to do that we are going to use the operator hyphen format is equals to script since this is the hash format linux uses to save the password and press enter as we can see we mentioned the format of the hashes and john could able to crack the password quickly this is how john is used to crack linux user passwords these are some of the simple examples i wanted to show to show the capabilities of john the ripper with the help of incremental and external mods, we can crack some complex passwords, but 
they do take a lot of time and those modes are for advanced users. So in conclusion, Chandrapa is a powerful tool that can be used in security auditing and password recovery for many operating systems. In this video, we learned about password hashing, what is Chandrapa, different modes that are used, installation, and two examples of use cases of John. Thanks for watching the video.